Before we get started, there are some concepts you should already be familiar with in order to get the most out of this course. Concepts like basic understanding on what a variable in data type is, how to use conditions and loops, and how to implement simple functions or methods. Basic knowledge of object-oriented programming is not mandatory, but it would be of great help since we are going to use simple classes and objects all throughout this course. It is expected that you already know how to write a simple program. In this course, I'll be using c -sharp to demonstrate how to implement all the theories that we're going to discuss. For the development environment, I'll use Visual Studio Community Edition, and during the time of this recording, the latest version is Visual Studio 2019. You can download it here for free, and the installation is fairly straightforward. If you have older version of Visual Studio, it is perfectly fine. The codes that I'll be using here is backwards compatible. But you have to understand, the data structures and algorithms that we will be discussing is not specific only to C-sharp. You can implement it to any programming language of your choice. In fact, when building this course, I have gone through the several programming languages to check the different implementations. If you feel that you don't have enough knowledge in these concepts in C-sharp programming, or perhaps just wanted a refresher course, I have included here in this video courseware a crash course on C-sharp basics. Feel free to watch it first.